Hello, everyone. I was not expecting to do two collective energies in one day, two collective energy clearings in one day, but I am being pushed to do some more collective energy healings today. So we're just going to see what happens. Um, the message that I got was divine masculine and divine feminine. I'm already feeling a lot of emotion and muck coming up. So let's begin. Okay, so this is to the Divine Feminine. All right, ladies, this is specifically for you or Feminine Energy, whichever one you resonate with. Because as we know, we can be a little bit of both. Odd. Two. Hmm. So a despair anchor is a thought or a belief that makes us believe something. And the emotion or the, the belief here is they despise me. Okay, do we need to know more about this? This despair anchor, are there emotions attached to it? So they despise me. I know that as I've been working with a lot of different people, some people have this really deep need to feel like everything is a competition. Um, a little while ago, I held a healing and harmony event because I wanted to diminish the feeling of everything is a competition and they despise me. I'm getting that this is really coming from the divine masculine, like, oh, men hate us or they despise us. And it's like a collective thing of that is something that a lot of women or even if we were to reverse roles, I hear a lot of women say, I hate all men. Not all men are the same. There's a lot of emotionally in tune men. There's a lot of men that actually reflect inwards and think of what they do or how they've contributed to a problem, or they are emotionally aware enough or emotionally intelligent enough to understand where their partner or their significant other or their friends, their female counterparts are coming from just, we have to find them and we have to also open up her perception to recognizing when that is the case and which men are like that. So let's keep going. They despise me. There's going to be some emotions to it. This first page. Is there, is it a different type of emotion? No, here, 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 here. Fury, gloomy, grief, guilt. So the emotion is guilt. Okay, let's figure out a little bit more. Is it in this first paragraph, second paragraph? A guilt, third sentence, fourth sentence, fifth sentence. It is common for one to assume guilt for the wrong behavior of another of which they are victim. Abuse, parents, control, uh, divorce, death. But since they did not cause it, they cannot make resolution. Guilt is the unpro then unproductive, uh, unproductive and even harmful. Severe guilt is often accompanied by feelings of depression. So assuming the wrong behavior of another, they despise me, men, men despise us me as a woman too, and feeling like we're assuming the guilt for the wrong behavior of another. It's interesting because I'm actually going through that right now. 
with taking, I was, I was internalizing a lot, taking on the behavior of someone else because this person was not um, in reflecting in the way that they felt. And somehow I felt like that was my fault for not knowing the feelings, but in a relationship, in a partnership, there has to be two. So it's interesting that this is coming up and it's resonating within my life, but I can also see it in so many different aspects of relationships all across the board. Um, is there anything else we need to know about this guilt? Is there more emotion? So there is more emotion. Have we passed it? Is it on this page? This page, this page, humiliation, hurt, ignored, indignant, inferiority, inferiority. Okay, let's see. Is it in the first sentence, second sentence, third, fourth? I just want to kind of cut down all of the talking time for you guys. So I'm going directly to what it is that needs to be said. So... Feelings of inferiority can cause problems in interpersonal relationships as one may be oversensitive to comments or make an exaggerated effort to prove one's adequacy and worth by boasting, showing off, and or being hypercritical of other people. So inferiority towards males, hypercritical, um, boasting, showing off, feeling inadequate. I hope women are not offended, but I do see where these things are coming from. And then we'll pick on the divine masculine, okay? But just right now, we're picking on ourselves. So inferiority, is there more emotions? Have we passed it? Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Lust, miserable, morose, nervous, numb, overjoyed, overwhelmed, pain, panic panic feeling panicked is it in this first paragraph second paragraph I'm feeling panicky in my chest so if anyone else is feeling some physical symptoms remember to try to lean into that discomfort it is not bad to feel these feelings I used to get panic attacks so I really understand exactly where that panic comes from and how it shows up in my body notice how it feels and shows up in yours because this is collective healing this is going to be helping you with the emotions that you resonate with the most to help you realize clear and understand yourself a little bit different a little bit better okay So a sudden overwhelming fear that produces histor hysterical behavior or physical symptoms. Um, this one, I'm just getting that we as a collective, as females, we need to learn how to breathe. Um, breathe. When over a year ago, I went to Mount Shasta and I had a really beautiful, amazing experience with other healers up there. And as I was up there, when we were coming down, uh, I talked to and spoke to another healer and she was gasping for air when I got on the phone and she was, <gasps> and she said, are you even breathing? And I said, what do you mean I'm breathing? And she was like, no, you're not even breathing. And I was like, I don't know if I'd be alive if I wasn't breathing. I don't understand. And as I was sitting there, she's telling me all of these things and she's clearing energy and she's pushing things and she's making all these really amazing sounds and things like that. And I took the deepest breath that I never knew I was breathing so shallow. I didn't know that I was in a stress panic breathing it was like what and 
again, fast forward to now, I've been going through my feelings. I'm actually processing it. I'm actually really connecting to myself through it, watching, like realizing the red flags, realizing what it is that I missed, recognizing everything about the the relationship that's ended. And in that, I have noticed that my breathing has shifted and changed. And as I've continued to process the emotions and process where I'm going, I can breathe easily, a lot easier. It's not the shallow panic breathing. So what I'm really getting from this panic is that collectively as women, we've been kind of programmed to be in this like stress response of like, (sighs) take a moment and learn how to breathe because that's panic and it's arising in your body and it's arising in your system. And so many women breathe from a panic mode. I see it. I'm a single mom and I've been a single mom for most of my life, most of my children's life, 14 years. And definitely know what it is to be stress breathing. (sighs) Gotta get this done. Gotta get this done. Gotta get this done. Gotta get this done. (sighs) So that's something that's really coming up and important for the divine feminine. Is there any other emotions or energies that we need to know? No. Is there any underlying hidden, hidden inner child? Okay. Hidden hidden inner child. So I have this last weekend, I had a huge download of different types of energies that we as a collective are ready to heal, which is amazing. I absolutely, I feel like things have just been um, leveling up, really getting to the nitty gritty of certain things. If we are, whatever this is, I'm sorry, Um, whatever it is that we are moving and shifting, it is going to not only level up a lot of people, but it is going to be very in your face face for the people that are very resistant to heal um indignant feeling of anger scorn um especially at unjust mean or ungrateful action or treatment to consider as unworthy or improper deep sense of felt resent deep intense resentment or anger annoyance or displeasure with something that is actually felt to be unjust or unworthy or mean anything else okay that's everything is there any hidden residual i'm gonna ask heart walls is there any limiting beliefs no, is there any different kind of emotions, any different kind of energies? I'm just feeling like there's something missing. So I'm really trying to tap into that. There is something missing. Is it in the wills? This connection to the spirit disconnection to the divine masculine I don't know why but I feel like my my back like is prickly almost like I've got like stuff is like weird and moving and like um Almost there's like, I'm on edge. Okay, so what, is there any emotions? Is it a different kind of emotion? Is it here, 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 here? Depression, discontent, discouragement, disgust, disheartenedness, dishonor. 
dishonor. So there's a disconnection from the divine feminine to the divine masculine. And the, um, the emotion that's coming through is dishonor, lack or loss of dignity, glory, respect. Ooh, respect. Loss of respect is the one that's coming through the most. Um, feeling insulted or violated. Okay, so the biggest thing that's really coming up right now and that's resonating the most is the loss of respect from divine feminine to the divine masculine. Um, feeling violated. So disrespect. And feeling violated. Okay, we'll keep going. Oh, is there anything else disconnecting the divine feminine to the divine masculine? There is. Is there more emotions? Have we passed it? Is it here? Is it here? Bluster, foggy thinking, forlorn, frustration. Fret, forlorn, foggy thinking, bluster. Is it on this page? Oh, it's confusion. confusion. I'm just going to say you men can be pretty confusing. <laughs> All right. Disorder, upheaval, um, chaos, lack of directness or clearness, perplexity, bewilderment, a disturbed mental state, disorientation. So like I just said, men can be very confusing. All right. Anything else we need to know about this? Sorry, I'm getting like a playful jest from my guides of just like, you're so funny. You're good job. Good way. Okay. Anything else? Can we clear this? All right. I'm going to get my magnets. We're going to clear this divine feminine energy. that is causing us to feel like men despise us, don't like us, our inner child feelings of indignant guilt and inferiority, causing us to breathe in a panic mode, disconnection from divine feminine to divine masculine. Okay. Are we moving towards now? We're going to go to the divine masculine. All right. Emotions. Is it despair anchor? Is it the same despair anchor? No. A, B, C, even, one, three, five. Something is wrong with me. Nothing turns out right. People want to hurt me. Something is wrong with me. The universe hates me. Okay. There's not enough. They despise me. Weird. Give me one second. Column A, B, C, odd, two, four, six. Hmm, they despise me too. Weird. There was like a very unclear. It was very unclear for a moment, but the um the anchor for for male is they despise me as well as the female. So we just think we hate each other. Fun. This is a great energy we're coming from. Well, hopefully with these clearings, we can gain a deeper sense and understanding of each other. And as a collective, everyone that is ready to heal these wounds will see that I think we're just each misunderstood. I've been watching a lot of uh, relationship coaches and they talk about how 
um, it is so important to communicate and to really forgive for each other's trespasses. That's what creates a good relationship, regardless of if it's a romantic, a friendship, a any kind of relationship. Uh, if there is no accountability within ourselves, then we're just going to repeat the same pattern in every single relationship that we ever have. So fear, fear is the first emotion that I'm getting. Sorry, I was just looking. I thought that fear came in for the feminine, divine feminine, but no, that did not come. Um, doubtful, to be doubtful. To anticipate pain or great dis distress. Okay, so those are the two emotions. Or this fear causes men, these men that these this divine masculine energy to be doubtful and to anticipate pain or great distress. Oh, that must be hard to live in. I'm so sorry. Just to kind of like anticipate everything to just go to hell. That's that's rough. All right, we're going to keep going. Is this a different kind of emotion? No. Is there more emotion? Is, did we pass it? No. Is it on this page? This page? This page? This page? Oh, this one's heavy. Instability. Instability. The feeling of instability, um, tendency to behave in an unpredictable, changeable, or erratic matter, not firm in a position or stand, lacking permanence, lacks consistency or purpose of character, unsteady, liable to change or fl fluctuate, quickly wavering. Okay. Is there anything else we need to know about this instability? I don't know about you, but I feel very like off balance, off center right now. Like my my crown chakra is just like reeling, just feels very confuzzled, which makes sense because of the instability. So men, if you feel that you act in an erratic manner, um, sometimes behaving unpredictably, not very consistent and not really having a purpose of your character, this might be something for you. And I, I invite you to lean into it and see what it means for you to you to have that instability and that fear within you. Okay. Is there more? Have we passed it? Is it here? Is a different kind of emotion? Um, inner child coping, wounded child, imprinted emotions, unevolved emotion, unevolved. Okay, so think of a child being a little kid. They're five, six, three. And this child has been told you are not allowed to feel let's see what emotion it is so that we can really get to the root of this one betrayal blame okay you are not allowed to feel frustration that is the unevolved emotion we're going to look at right now. So you as a little one, um, and these are all for males, you are not allowed to feel frustrated. Everything's fine. You're okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, you want to see your other parent or you want to go to your grandparents or you want to do this or you want to do that or you want to climb the tree and you're not allowed to and you're frustrated and you're throwing a tantrum. You're not allowed to do that. That's not okay. 
So that frustration, and let's see if this needs a specific type of frustration too. Three, losses. They are especially frustrating because so often they're out beyond our control. So you are frustrated because you feel like you've lost something and you're not allowed to feel that. You're fine. Stop crying. Don't worry about it. And that emotion is stuck at that small little age and it has not had the time to grow up. So when I'm frustrated, I can say, this is so frustrating. Gosh, I wish I wish I can move past this. But as a unevolved frustration, it is quite literally like a temper tantrum within your system, within your body. So that frustration is like a temper tantrum. It's just a meltdown and it's not allowing you to think rationally or react rationally in that moment. Because if any of you have children dealing or deal with children, dealing with a child when they're not getting what they want is not easy even when they're older. All right, anything else? Resentment, another unevolved emotion of resentment. And we need to know a little bit more about it. Is this this first part? Is this this next part? Okay, so resentment is can cause us to distort reality and perceive non-existent threats which consume an inordinate amount of energy. So when we're resentful, we are holding on to a huge amount of energy to perceive threats that probably aren't even real, but they consume so much energy. Um, the example that I'm thinking of is holding your fist for five minutes, 10 minutes, squeezing it, and then letting it go, feeling how hard it is to just keep squeezing your fist. That's resentment. When we let resentment go, it's when we forgive. When we say, I see where you're coming from. I genuinely forgive you. Uh, resentment can show up in people from past relationships and then they leak into the the next relationship if you're a resentful person then you hold on to those grudges and they're never alleviated I recommend doing a ho'oponopono practice for resentment to let go of any resentments that you have um, currently which reminds me I need to make my own ho'oponopono video all right, is there any other emotions that we need to know about this? Is there any underlying emotional resonances, residual energy? Okay, residual energy or emotions. Defensiveness the emotion of defensiveness. State of resisting attack, is it this one? Two, here, here. Defense-oriented behavior helps protect us from self-de-evaluation or emotional hurt and alleviates the tension of anxiety associated with conflict or pressure. 
when the integrity or worth of the self is endangered, various defense mechanisms are brought into operation automatically. I really wish I would have brought my inner workings of relationships because defensiveness also can be called ego. It is very egoic. It is very, I'm right, you're wrong. Um, being on guard, standing protected, uh, it actually stalls progression. And that is actually what I'm getting more than anything from this defensiveness is a stall of progression because of the unwillingness to be able to look at another person's perspective or look at how we might be contributing to any of the issues being presented or being discussed or being um, brought to the table. For mutual respect, we have to put our guard down. Anything else that we need to know? Okay, can we go ahead and clear this masculine energy fully? Okay. Oh. Yawning is a good sign. It means processing. Is there anything else we need to know? Is there any ener any other energies that we can release? Any underlying? Anything else that we can clear today? Are we complete? Okay. I hope that this is helpful to anyone that watches this us as women having that panic breath probably makes us spiral into panic much quicker uh we each male and female have had this collective thought that they despise me that men do things to hurt women because they hate women or they despise them that women do things to men because they despise them and when i'm looking at all of this it really is showing that there is some mutual misunderstandings between the the energies. Um, there's a disconnection. There's a resistance to acknowledge and take accountability. There's been this sense of, I can't talk about it, inferiority feeling violated because of that inferiority. And then from the counterpart, fear and instability. And then there's that resentment, that frustration that keeps coming up and that defensiveness. And all of those mean disconnect, miscommunication. It means, are we really on the same page as a society, as a whole? And it doesn't sound like it, but hopefully with clearing these energies from the collective, we're going to start seeing more and more changes in the dynamic between divine masculine and divine feminine, because ultimately we were all made for community. Literally every single one of us, failure to thrive is death by not having a community. And I just saw a white orb come through for that one. We were built for community. We were built for connection. We were built to be together, to be in a village. They say it takes a village to raise a child. Quite literally, it does. For the amount of one-to-one -one contact that a child needs, they need seven I believe it was seven to nine people daily. And male or female, I don't think that very many are getting that. And some people might, might be the exception to that rule, but the disconnection between the male and the, the female is important to look at and say, 
where can we come together? Where can we figure out what it is that each other need? Because without each other, society doesn't continue. Without each other, um, communicating, understanding, we are hurting. We're hurting the future generations. Uh, my kid's dad and his wife are just incredibly supportive of each other and communicate with each other and take accountability of each other. And that is an incredible trait to see. And as I continue to dive deeper, there's so many people that do do that. But the ones that don't, we want to help everyone elevate. We want to help everyone move forward and that we'll see a lot of changes within our collective as we continue to see how our inner wounds are reflecting outward into the other world, into our world, because hurt people hurt people. If you do not process what hurt you, if you do not heal your wound, you will bleed over people that did not cut you. I'm going back to that. So remember that that is, an, that is a big deal. Someone that is avoidant, that avoids the pain, they actually are harming not just themselves, but they're harming everyone around them because they say, I, I just can't deal with that. Or even worse, they think that everything is supposed to be perfect when we live in a world that so many different perspectives, so many different changes, so many different things just does not support that belief system. And with that, I hope you all have a wonderful day and notice your partner, notice your guy friends, notice each other as a collective and see how maybe you might be triggering someone to feel guilty, inferior, panicked, indignant, disconnected, disrespected, or dishonored, violated, or confused, and vice versa, how we might be triggering someone to fear, feel fearful, instab unstable, uh, frustrated, resentful, and defensive, and call it out. It's important to call it out and say, this is what I'm noticing about you. And if they don't want to talk about it, then maybe this healing journey just isn't for them yet. But we will pray for you and we will send love and light your way as well. Have a wonderful day. Thank you all for coming by. Thank you.